what's going on YouTube you saw it in the title I'm doing a what's in the bag video it's been much requested throughout my Instagram comments DMs you name it whatever it may be you guys have been wanting to see this so let's get right into the video so first off I'm just gonna walk around the bag as you can see we have a Titleist school bag for my college Kansas City Kansas Community College there's a Garmin rangefinder right here I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like here in a moment uh, here's every single one of my clubs. I'm going to show you exactly what they are, what they look like. I'm going to tell you how they feel and what I think about them. All right, so first off, we're going to start out with the putter. Obviously, you can tell it's something different. You've probably never seen this type of putter before. It's customized for my account, GM Golf, made by Kana Golf Studio or Kana Golf Studio. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I feel bad for not knowing, but look at that face. It's pretty clean. I'm not going to lie, I really like this putter wasn't expecting it to be so good, but when I started hitting putts with it, it really rolled true. All right, quick warning before we get into more of the video. If you don't like dirty clubs, please leave this video right now because literally every one of my clubs are dirty right now. Anyway, I have the PMP something or other Wilson Staff Grind Wedges. I actually really like them. I like the way they rust. I'm not really sure why the 56 degree doesn't rust. That's a question to ask Wilson Golf. Uh, I'm not really an expert on these clubs but they're raw grind and honestly i have the 60 degree 56 and the 52. so let's move on to the irons here as you can see we have titleist ap2s 716s as you can see there honestly it's a really clean club i've had these clubs for a long time these irons have really treated me well through the years but honestly i want to get new irons i want to get some blades i don't know what company if you guys have any suggestions on what irons I should use, please let me know. I just need to find some good blades. Um, either way, these irons are actually really good. I don't mind playing them right now. You can tell they're dirty, but yeah, I like them. Also, actually, before, let's, before we move on, I have Dynamic Gold S400s, as you can see there, if the camera will focus. Um, yeah, these shafts are really nice. I got fitted at Golf MD for these shafts. Shout out to Golf MD. Great place, great place to get fitted. Okay, on to the hybrid now. As you guys probably noticed, I don't have a two iron in my bag. That's right, I actually just switched out my two iron for this bad boy. I really like it. 816, I believe, something Titleist or other H1. I don't even know the models or the names, but it's 19 degrees. It's really clean looking, and honestly, it feels great. I like it better than my two iron. There are some scenarios where I would suggest hitting a two iron over a hybrid. It just depends on the course. It depends on if it's windy, if it's tight, or if it's not. If it's hard fairways or if it's soft fairways. Just depends. All right, moving on to the three wood. This club is the one you see all the stingers with. Title is 917 F2, 15 degrees of loft. Set it A2 if, you can, if it focuses. I don't know the camera. Why is the camera not focusing? There you go, it's set at A2, uh, whatever that is, I think that means a little bit of a high draw. I'm not sure, please correct me if I'm wrong. I really like this Golf Pride grip on it. I like the colors, burnt orange has always been my favorite color, so I really like it. All right, on to the driver. Cobra F8, I actually really like this driver. I've never really been able to hit a driver that well until I hit this one, so I really dig it. 10.5 degrees aloft. I hit it pretty high. I don't spin it too much. I like the face. I like the way it controls well. Also, before I move on to anything else, the shafts I have in my three wooden driver is the Atos Cool US Tibamiya 69 grams. Really solid shaft. Here you see it in the three wood as well. So, definitely a good shaft. Also, one more thing the shafts in my wedges are also a US Tibamiya brand recoil great shafts as well so check that out so now that the important stuff is out of the way all the golf clubs you might think oh there's not much else to see but look at this bad boy this range finder i just recently got it is the garmin z80 great range finder absolutely amazing i will be doing a full review on this bad boy on my youtube channel to come haven't done it yet, obviously, but there will also be some posts about it on Instagram, so stay tuned for that. This thing is amazing. 
All right, that's pretty much it, guys. I know I didn't show you the exact gloves I play with and balls I play with, but I will just tell you right now, I play with a Titleist Pro V1 and I wear a FJ glove. Uh, other than that, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Uh, I wear a True Links wear golf shoe. Um, you guys have seen that in a few videos, but I'm sorry I couldn't cover that within this what's in the bag video. Um, that's literally it. I don't have much more to say about my golf bag. It's not that special. It's just like any other golf bag out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see any more YouTube content, please suggest what you want to see down below in the comments. I will read every single comment, take into account what you guys say, and hopefully make a YouTube video about it. Stay tuned, guys. More to come. Peace.